Sarawak mensasarkan pengangkutan awam di Bandar Raya Kuching bebas karbon dan menggunakan sepenuhnya tenaga hidrogen dan elektrik menjelang 2030. Pemimpin Sarawak Datuk Patinggi Tuan Sri Dr. Abang Abdul Rahman Zahri Tun Datuk Abang Open berkata dengan adanya sumber hasil tenaga yang boleh diperbaharui itu sekaligus dapat mengurangkan kesan perubahan iklim di seluruh dunia. We engage with the Korean, we engage with the Japanese, And uh, we have to find a solution to it. First, Sarawak feel that we must go towards hydrogen economy. We produce hydrogen. And then the hydrogen become a source of renewable energy. I think by the year 2030, Almost all our public transport will be either on hydrogen or on EV. Hopefully, Kuching will be clean without carbon. You can come anytime to enjoy our city. It's part of our effort to transform into smart city, including, of course, the use of digital communication. Beliau berkata demikian ketika berucap dalam majlis makan malam Shape the World Summit 2023 pada Rabu. Menurut beliau, persidangan Shape the World bertujuan membincangkan cabaran yang dihadapi dunia termasuk berdepan perubahan iklim dengan penyertaan lebih kurang 300 peserta dan delegasi. Mula selanjut, Datuk Patinggi Tahun Suri Abang Zohari berkata Singapura dan Sarawak boleh bekerjasama dalam bidang tertentu khususnya berkenaan dengan ekonomi hijau. We share with Singapore to produce uh, this energy, which is sustainable, green, and investment can come in because energy is there. But you got the brain, we got the space, we got the energy. Let the brain combine between Singapore and beyond. Together with Sarawak, and your industries will be based on green energy. Your products are green. Bank can finance you because of ESG, and there you are. You play your part. Government just facilitate. On my part, I just facilitate, and we have a forward-looking direction in our economy for the. Future. Hadis sama timbalan Pemimpin Sarawak Datuk Seri Profesor Dr Sim Kuhian, timbalan Menteri Tenaga dan Kelestarian Alam Sekitar Dr Hazlan Abang Hibni, timbalan Setiausaha Kerajaan Sarawak Perancangan Ekonomi dan Pembangunan Datu Dr Muhammad Abdullah Zaidil serta tetamu jemputan yang lain.